If you take a look at, say, the tax policy, if we're looking at something that won't know tax reform, say, 2.0, does that affect how businesses want to plan? I think most of the tax reform 2.0 was uh, addressing the individual side of the mm -hmm. tax uh, code rather than the corporate side of the tax code. As Dave said, there's some cleanups that uh, may be able to be done uh, uh, through regulation rather than through legislation, but I wouldn't hold out a lot of hope for uh, tax 2.0. At the same time, there's a fair amount, as we just heard from Dave, actually, that we that people want the administration to, whether it's the Treasury Department or deregulation, things like that. Mm -hmm. How much of a distraction will a Democratic House be, particularly on the investigations? For example, if you look at the committee chairmanship and who's going to take over, uh, you have Maxine Waters on financial services, you have Jerry Nadler on judiciary, you have a lot of new chairmen who are really going to want to go after this president, have said that already. I'm not speculating. Well, I, my hope is uh, that uh, we don't go, the Democrats don't go too far uh, down that path. If, if you look at what happened uh, in this election, uh, who the people who were elected, uh, many of them are, as I said earlier, uh, new to politics. They want to get something done. Uh, and so uh, I actually think the Democrats would be wise to do a little bit less investigation and a little bit more legislation mm. uh, but I, I'm not there's a lot of pent-up uh, energy uh, for the former <laughs> it depends if they're gonna govern or if they're gonna just uh, campaign for 2020 at the end of the day yeah and that's the the dilemma that that uh, you know the out-of-party legislative uh, branch always faces uh, I do think uh, I would like to say one thing about taxes and that is you know, we, we have a pretty irresponsible fiscal policy right now. And David made the point, uh, you know, taxes are supposed to pay uh, for the government uh, that we have. You know, we're at or very near uh, full employment. Normally, fiscal policy during those periods of times has very low deficits or surpluses. If you recall, most people don't. Uh, in 2000, at the end of the Clinton administration, we were talking about the uh, disappearance of treasuries and how would the markets function without any treasuries because the entire national debt was going to be paid off. Uh, we now have a $21 trillion national debt. We're at full employment. Our deficit is almost 5% uh, of our GDP. And, you know, what we're doing is honestly completely irresponsible uh, for the next uh, generation. Our kids are being dumped, uh, having a, a huge amount of debt dumped on them. And while David said that, you know, we're uh, taking, we're still collecting a lot of taxes, it's true, but the proportion of GDP that is going to U.S government taxes is down from approximately 20 percent in 2000 to 17 percent uh, today, which is what explains the irresponsible fiscal policy we have.